hello friends in this video we are going to learn about the otp verification in nest authentication flow so previously we have discussed about the registration so now we are going to verify this uh, registration process email verification whether it's to be valid or not so here we have the code that we in the previous video okay so here we have the code also so this is this one then we have the email verification so what is the code that is that we have to verify it this is the code and this data in this view here this is there right if i verify it, then it's automatically removed so first we will check each and every step over here so first one we are adding this one so add the wrong so what it says login error okay if i go and just add this one correct one so you can email login email verified and you can see that there are five objects if i click on this one there is four objects because fifth one is verified right and you can see that in the users so here we have the users that is now it the email is verified whenever you have a react application or something whether you want to verify with the otp email verification or otp so you can use this method right so let's go and check the code level okay so here we have the auth controller so email registration we have already discussed right send email verification and all so this we have going to close it next we have a email verify and the token so what we are receiving the params right params dot token so here we are receiving the params token this one right and here you can see that login email verified is email verified okay otherwise we are throwing the error let's check the verify email what it does okay so in the verify email we have a email verification model right we are finding the token from here okay if the email verify and the email verify is there then we will find that email okay and if it is there then a user from db okay uh, auth dot email is valid true okay and save that user from db so we are saving the user from the db otherwise we are we are op and uh, we are just removing the email verification okay in the we can see we can see that in the email verification we have removed that one and we have saved that information that into the user staple okay user db from save so here you can see that right otherwise if it the code is not valid then we are sending that the login email code is not valid okay so this is the email verification process that i am using you can also simplify this one by how just in the user table take a one parameter that is is email verify true or false right so when you send the code right you can you have to just save that code in that user's model okay so whenever you sending the code update that code match that code from the user table and if it is matching then return the possible thing that login page uh, lo login page because that or you can redirect to somewhere else else otherwise it's not verified then you can take a, a action on that one that the token is not valid or something like this okay the two methods right so first one that i have used is i have just saved all the data in the email verification if it is very really very verified or something then i remove it and save that user info like it is very verified else you can do the next one in creating the users one column and update that accordingly so this you can uh, check this one i will show you the email verification send send otp also so here we have the auth one so here we have the uh, auth controller so let's go and check this one in the registration we have sending the send email verification so here we go with this one so this is email verification mail that we are triggering so thanks for the registration so here we have the host port url and the email token right and we sent email we have the sent email console.log message sent or message error we are going to get it from here okay otherwise user not registered or something we are sending that as a notification to them okay so this is how we are able to do the email verification or the otp verification via email in the next years any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day